Welcome to installing R&R &R Commander for Mac OS. There's quite a few steps we need to go through here. Um, they're all fairly straightforward though. And uh, I guess there's been uh, more steps added because Apple keeps on removing things from their operating system. It used to just be as simple as, as just installing R. But now we need to also inst install XQuartz. So I'll go through the, the whole process and uh, it doesn't take very, it doesn't take very long. So the first thing that that I'll that I'll do is I want to normally we'd prefer to update macOS to the latest version. R assumes it's it's the latest macOS. That's what it's tested on. Sometimes you can run into trouble. Um, it will run on the last few versions though. But ideally, um, it's it's best to update the Mac OS to the to the latest version. In any case, um, I had a lot of trouble with this Mac, uh, which is about five years old now. Uh, you know, a few months ago, and it was it was constantly rebooting and shutting down. And when I updated to Mac OS to the latest version, all that went away. So it's a good thing to do. So if I go up to the up to the Apple icon here in the top left, on on the menu bar, and then click on that then it comes up with um, so if I just say about this Mac it just shows me well I'm running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.6 it's an early 2015 model and um, I might want to check whether that's the latest version so I can do that by pressing the software update and that will tell me my Mac is up to date it's got the latest version that was checked uh, last check today a few minutes ago so so that's definitely the last the last version or the latest version and so the next thing I want to do is I want to install R and so I can install it from this um, from this website here r-project.org you might you might just get away with um, typing in in R in your search bar and it'll probably still come up but, but um, if you use rproject.org, then it'll give you the home page and it tells you a bit of news about about R and various various other things. And uh, but what we want to do is we want to go to the download. So we want to go to the CRAN, which is a comprehensive R archive network. So if we click on that, we'll go to um, Australia. That's where we are. We can go to the University of Melbourne. And so if we go to the University of Melbourne, we can see that we we can download R for various platforms like Linux, Windows or Mac, but we'll choose Mac. And now we can see there's a whole lot of choices here. So what we want to do is we want to download the latest one. We know that we've got Mac OS um, High Sierra or higher. We've just checked that. And it also says note that, that we also need to install this X Quartz. So we could install it here by by um, by clicking on this so if I if I start start that download off then um, it's going to take a little while we'll see that I've already I've already got one so I've already just downloaded this so rather than waiting for it I'll take a bit of a chance here and I'll just double click on the one that we've already got or, or single click and this will say welcome to the installer get rid of that so we can see it this installer will guide you through the steps and so we want to say continue here and it'll tell us about what it's going to install and if I say continue here then it gives us our license agreement so we'll see that We'll see that that's just been downloaded. The, the didn't take very long, but we're already underway here. So, so that we'll just installing R 4.02 for Mac OS. We'll continue on with that, and don't feel like reading the license. It just says that it's free software, but you're not going to sue them if it doesn't work. So, so uh, we'll agree to that, and it says it'll take this amount of space on my computer. So I don't want to change anything. I'll just press install, and now I have to put in my password. So I'll 
type in my password and now now it's starting off validating the package and writing the files doesn't take that long uh, even on an old Mac like this um, takes a little while but not not too not too long and we'll say that that um, unlike some other software R has a whole lot of packages um, for, for doing various things. If, if you buy SPSS, then you'll get basic SPSS. And if you want to buy um, you know, structural equation models or, or, or some other sort of um, an analysis, then uh, there you go. It's finished. Then, then basically, um, you've got a few add-ons, but, but with R, you've got something like 16,000 packages or add-ons and so the idea is it just installs a minimal system and it's installed already uh, I'll just keep it just in case I, wa I want to um, in case I want to reinstall it so it's just asked me if I wanted to, to delete the, the, the package we just installed that file and so now we've done the step two and and the next thing that we really need to do is install X quartz now we could uh, install that from the um, from the um, the R website, but I find that that site's a bit slower. This is probably a quicker one, so it's just xquartz.org. And so if we go to that, we'll see that um, xquartz really is is um, quite a few years old now, ne nearly four years old. Um, I've already installed it. I won't install it again, but but we can just down we can just download it. Uh, just by clicking on it, but I, but I've already done that. So so you know how to download download files, and so let's have a look and see what see what that looks like. We'll see that there's X Quartz um, previously downloaded, and if I click on that, just a single click, then it brings up um, X Quartz here, and if I double click on that. It should come up in a in a tick. It'll it'll verify that everything's all right, and then um, it'll come up with a with a, a little system to walk us through it. So basically, we can continue onto the README, the license, and then uh, just just following all the, all the defaults. Um, that'll install reasonably quickly. Uh, it's not very big, uh, but but I won't do that um, because I've, it's already on the system. If I if I did it, then I probably need to reboot the machine, and I don't feel like doing that at the moment. So um, the important thing is that once you have installed it, then you need to reboot. Because I'm not installing it again, I'm not going to reboot. I'm just going to going to um, carry on. So we can run R from the R app. So so everyone knows about pressing Command and Space. We can search. So we can search say here. We can search for R. And we'll see that R on my system anyway comes up uh, first up, and so I could run it from there just by hitting ret enter or return. Uh, and if I type in .app, um, then uh, if it didn't come up the first time, it's definitely here now. So if I hit return, it'll um, it'll run R. And we'll see that this is the version 4.02 that we just downloaded, and we'll see. And we'll see down here that there is actually um, that where that um, it may appear in your dock as well. So so for those of people that have done other courses and have got R Studio, we're not going to use R Studio in this particular case because what we're going to do is use R Commander. So so we don't use R Studio to run R Commander. We use R itself, and that works that works a lot better in my experience. And so. So we're just running R now. What we what we can do is we can um, use the menu. So going up to the menu packages and data, we want the package installer. So the package installer. If we look through here, we can we can search for R Commander. Uh, we can get the get the list. So remember, there's 16,000 packages available now. Um, we can highlight R Commander, and then we 
we need to install the dependencies as well and click install selected so on Windows you don't have to worry about this step the, the install dependencies but on Mac you do so that's a, a slightly annoying fact but but as long as we remember to do that it's, it's not a problem so so now we'll get we'll get the list and um, We can see, yes. Yeah, so, so we can see that um, that there's a few packages already that come with R, but not very many. Um, if we if we look here, we can see there's a whole lot more that are that are R Commander plugins. But here, um, we can see that the, this is already installed. I just ran this just before, but I'm going to install it again uh, just to just to make sure that everything's working fine. We'll install the dependencies. Uh, as well and I'll just highlight our commander so this will install the selected package there and it'll also install all the dependencies we'll notice over here that it's at the system level in R so let's let's install that now and we'll we'll look over in here I see that it takes a while but because I've installed the dependencies uh, it's only installed the, that one package if I if I um, if I had a, a fresh R install, uh, which I which I'd remove for the the purpose of this, uh, but I didn't remove all the packages, then then it would include a few more. That's that's fine. It may take a little while, and it's and the, the other thing is it's installed them from from Auckland, which is which is a bit slower than than if you use a local um, local repository. So. So if we um, if we say wanted to install uh, one of these one of these other other uh, say teaching demos, then once again we can just just uh, highlight that, click on it, and then click installs selected. And so um, one, you can see here that this has got a few more dependencies there. So so. Uh, but it, it doesn't take all that long, and so we so we've done uh, so we've done that. Now we can we can shut that down, and then the last thing to do is just to at the prompt we can type in library R commander. So if I um, type in library R capital R, so it is case sensitive, and then small C M D R, then and press return. Then, then this will boot up our commander, and so we can see that that it that we've got three windows here. Ones, ones for for our it'll any any menu that we use uh, from from uh, these many menus, uh, it will um, it will give us some some R syntax, and then there's output in this window and some messages in this window, but that's for later on. Um, so the, the only other thing that we need to do is know how to get out of this and so we can say file exit and we'll exit from commander and R so if we press that uh, we'll just exit now if we had done a whole lot of work it might might ask us if we want to save stuff and that's usually a good idea and so hopefully that helps you um, install R and R commander and and exports uh, and it's a fairly straightforward process. So good luck with uh, playing around with this software.